Does it work? Oh. <laughs> oh my god! It's gonna fuck me off! I'm gonna get whiplash! We love coming to this RV park. It's very minimalistic, um, no hookups or anything. So everybody here has solar and we know a lot of people that come here. And so we have friends and uh, everything, but you know, it's time to move. And we decided we were going to see a bunch of harvest hosts and see what that was like. So we booked a bunch of stays, uh, one night, one night, one night at harvest hosts and we are gonna see what that is like. So more adventure coming, which is a lot of fun, seeing new things, new people, new places, and I'm really looking forward to it. pretty easy once we got here they had cones set up and yeah they have these signs that say harvest host parking looks like they have two spots so one and two um, I'm gonna go out and check the level and Let's make sure that this is the right spot first. okay why don't you run in and I'll check the level looks like a really cool place I'm kind of excited only thing is I have a lot of client calls tonight so I don't know how much of it we'll be able to enjoy. All right. How'd that go? You went and checked in? Talked to Jenny in the box office. Man, they have a lot going on here. They have the, the, the theater, they have the diner, they have like Elvis and Marilyn Monroe come to your table. They have stuff going what? on every night. They have live music. They have so much stuff happening here. And they, she was so professional and came out and we stood, stood out there and chit chatted. And uh, it was great, yeah, it's exciting. So she said, film away, do whatever you want. Poke your head into the theater, even if you don't have tickets, just see what we do and so this will be good. Yay. But okay. you have to work all night. Uh, well, maybe I can push some of those calls to tomorrow. We can try. I can. Yeah, we'll be at the fairgrounds tomorrow, so that'll be good reception. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Okay. All right, hey, this is gonna be fun, you guys. It's a little loud here, but it's amazing. 
so much to look at. I keep going around different corners and finding more and more stuff. But you can see this busy road behind us, but it's not that bad. It's like, I don't think anybody honks horns here. Wait for it. Somebody will honk a horn now. And uh, it's pretty quiet. And uh, considering all the traffic, looks like they have outdoor events here, which is really cool. And uh, I love the AMC Pacer car way out front here. The, the bright green AMC Pacer. I got to go take a look at that. I'm not sure who the burrito man is, but I gotta find out now who the burrito man really is. You ready to go eat? I am. Looking forward to it. Yeah, it'll be fun. Boy, you are really yellow right now. Am I? Yeah. Oh yeah, those lights are bright. <laughs> Good yeah. thing I have a sleeping mask. Yes. With you? <laughs> no, for sleeping. Oh, okay. So I saw this truck and I'm wondering if this would be a good truck for Jacqueline. <laughs> Go tall I can that get thing up is. And it doesn't even have running boards. <laughs> you need a ladder or some serious foam books. I think I found the hair do I want. You did? Ready? Okay. <laughs> That's me. That's what I want right there. That's what you looked like when you were young. Yeah. Before you went bald at 17. Yeah. I, I had that I had about that much attitude too. Okay. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> you smacked the horse. I slapped oh my god, stop. Peta, Peta is not gonna be happy with that one. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ladies and gentlemen, Gay and Robert from Gay and Robert, the YouTube channel. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. yeah. This is this will get a lot of subscribers. Yeah. This is gold. Stay there, stay there. I'm doing a 25 minute time lapse. You gotta stay though. You can't move. You need a little you need a sprinter van car though. Hey. It's a Pontiac enabler. Can you see them? Yeah. They're all pink. So we got to see our friends Gay and Robert again here in Tucson, Arizona. They're at the Convergence with the Escapers and they came over to see us. Yes! Most mm -hmm. importantly. In a few more days too. Yeah. So we're going to be hanging out with them for, for a little while now. So. <laughs> Long it's shower. Really good. Hot shower. Bear grounds. All right. Best water. Bye. 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 <laughs> I'm ready. Welcome to another healthy living tip with Jacqueline. So today I'm going to give you a tip, but I was first thinking I should probably tell you why I'm qualified to give you that tip. I do have my health coaching certification, but more importantly, Dave and I have lost a combined 65 pounds on this program, and that's just changing our nutrition and our mindset. And to date, I've helped over 600 people. So I've had an impact on over 600 people. That's crazy, right? So my tip today is go ahead and make a decision now because it's the most important decision that you'll ever make, whether it be with me or some other decision in your life. And that's been a Healthy Living Tip with Jacqueline. It's windy today again, the theme of the wind, and we are getting out of here, and thank goodness we pointed in the right direction last night because 
right now if we were angled in the other way it would be knocking us back and forth a lot nicer huh it is yeah we have to keep that in mind i guess for future yeah to always do that check the wind yeah check the wind if it's going to be windy make sure you're pointing in the right direction otherwise you are rocking and a rolling and now we have to drive in this but luckily it's not far right and we're driving about 45 minutes but we're going with the wind so that's Yay. good so we should get like 87 miles to the gallon today as opposed to five if we could we'd stay but we have a harvest hose booked we do yeah on a farm yes let's go before we blow away oh okay Here it comes <laughs> On a day like today, I wish I was the one backing the truck up because then I wouldn't be outside in the wind, although kind of protected here. But uh, yeah, Dave gets to sit inside the nice, comfy, warm truck while he's backing it up so that we can hook up. I guess I have to maybe see if we can change jobs but we've been doing it for this long so <laughs> I'm just out here I gotta wear a hood because otherwise my hair is whipping all over the place and I can't see but I should go so that I can help him and he doesn't back right into our rig to Tangled Yarn Farms. Is it Tangled Yarn Farm or Tangled Yarn Barn? Farm, right? Farm, I think. Okay, so I'm curious to see, um, I think they sell some goods that you, uh, some, what am I trying to say, like apparel um, that they make here. So wanna, that'll be cool. I wanna buy a live sheep, but this one right here. Look at those guys. <laughs> Hi guys. <laughs> Yeah, I think it says um, in Harvest Host that there's a fire pit that you can enjoy and everything. So I see one back here and that must be for us. And they have a little table and chairs too. Look at that. I see the fire pit, but I refuse to enjoy it. <laughs> there you go. All right, time to back in. Time for me to get my shoes on, get out the level and uh, direct it Dave into our spot. Are they shoes or are they galoshes? Did I invite you? Oh, sorry. Into my shot. Can I come over? <laughs> May I come over? I'm still thinking. Okay. Are they shoes or are they galoshes? I don't know what galoshes are. Galoshes are like shoes, like wet shoes, like for in your galoshes. Um, well, no, they're not. They're shoes. Okay. Shoes it is. Okay. Now you have to get out of my shot now. Can't get good help. Got a new buddy. Yeah, we're taking him on the road. Nose. Yeah. Okay, you have to feel his fur. He's an Angora. Do you want one? Soft. Do you? Do you want one? Do you want one? I think Your I birthday's like. Birthday's coming up. <laughs> no, it isn't. No, I think not. I like bunnies better than puppies. Yeah. Yeah. Look how calm he is. Yeah. I can't even see his face. <laughs> so we're here with Jason from Tangled Yarn Farms. Did I say that right? Tangled Yarn Farms. Perfect. Yeah. See see how good I am on camera? And uh, he's going to talk a little bit about what they're doing out here and what's going on with the farm. Hey guys, my name is Jason. I'm with Tangled Yarn. We've been here since April of 2012. 
2021 now. It's four acres of just our little slice of heaven. 58 rabbits, 38 babies, five goats, two guardians, four inside dogs, three cats, four finches, two parakeets, and a partridge in a pear tree. <laughs> it just sums it right up. If we point this way, you can see Mexico. That is correct. That is the San Jose Mountains in Mexico, okay. Sonora. Well, it's, we've had a great time here. And uh, we had other harvest holsters over here, as you could see. Yeah, and they're gonna be taken off. And uh, and we appreciate you guys for having us out. And your wife's name again is? Julie. Julie. See, I met these guys yesterday. Yes. And it's been a while, so. It, you know, a lot happens overnight. It does, <laughs> it does. So that's Jason. And uh, thanks for having us out, my friend. Hey, of course, anytime. All right. Appreciate Always welcome. You. Thank you. I think he's backwards. <laughs> you know, it could very well yeah, be. We don't know. <laughs> yeah. No, you're in this press release here, so. <laughs> awesome. Thanks. Yeah, of course. Well, we are almost there at our next harvest host. And I was just thinking, I kind of like these short travel days. I think we should travel like this every single day. Seven minutes. <laughs> A seven minute travel day. Yeah. I'm in. Oh yeah. Canada Drive. Baby's back in the saddle. I'm not sure what that means. I don't either. I'll go with it. Pretty easy going here. Yeah, it's nice. But easy going is in slow going because this road is. Yeah. We were leaving the last harvest house and Julie Judy? called us. Judy. Judy. Judy or Julie? Oh, I thought Judy. Maybe I'm wrong. I think it's Julie. And your wife's name again is Julie. Okay. Sorry, Judy. Julie. Sorry, Judy. <laughs> sorry, Julie. She called us and said, hey, I saw you went down one way, or, or Jason said you went down one way, you might want to turn around and go a different way because the roads yeah. are pretty bad. Wasn't that nice? Yeah. So it took us all through paved roads until we got to this one. Um, and like I said, we're just one minute away now. So ah, we'll get there soon. And then we're going to see some alpacas. Mm, alpacas. Alpacas, yes. Alpacas. Wondering if you know if the alpaca farm is this way Stomp once for yes. He doesn't know. He's not from around here. Come on. He doesn't know. He's not even visiting. Yeah. Oh, maybe oh. this guy knows. Maybe this guy knows. Okay. Ask him. Your destination is on the right. Hello. 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 <laughs> oh, hi. Look, I see an alpaca over there. I shall get the gate. Here we go. walk over and see some alpacas. Yes, we are. Have you ever seen an alpaca I have. live before? I have. I think so. When? Uh, I, I did a um, video shoot at a, a farm, alpaca farm. Recently? Back in the day, back when I was doing the Hollywood stuff. <laughs> like when? Yeah. Tom Cruise, uh, we did an alpaca movie with Tom Cruise. Yeah, he's a huge Ooh. alpaca guy. Not many people know that about him. Yeah. Okay, well, good to know. Yeah. I can't wait. I'm kind of nervous that they'll have like big teeth and they'll bite. Oh, they will. They'll take your head right <laughs> off.
started, we both grew up with horses, so we had horses. Uh, and when we bought the property here, we knew we were going to get horses, and we did. We ended up with, uh, I think it was nine horses between the two of us. We we're only a mile from the river, so it was a nice little ride down there. It was, it was awesome. But somewhere along the line, we decided we were getting a little too old for that many horses. And uh, we were at a rodeo not long after that, and someone there had alpacas. And so she fell in love with them. She was like, oh my God, they're so cute. <laughs> You list one. There, look. There you go. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Hey, thanks for watching another episode of the Border Hookups Go RV, and please remember to subscribe and to ding that bell so that we can let all of you know as to when we have more episodes coming out. If you liked what you saw in this video, please give us a thumbs up and place a comment below, and we hope to see you out here. We'll see y'all out here.